Hi folks, I'm Dr. Sadie Wasotsky from the Acme Lab at Temple University, and today I'll be showing you how to use datamonkey.org to run Slack on an alignment of your choosing. To use Slack, we can just navigate to the datamonkey.org page, click on the Methods and Tools dropdown, and select Slack from the list. Then you'll see the Slack landing page where you can upload your sequence file of choice, choose what genetic code you need to use, and enter your email if you wish to be notified when your analysis is finished running, which I highly recommend. So today we're going to be using this HIV envelope data set because we know that selection has acted upon it. And then we're just going to hit Run Analysis and your Slack analysis will start running in this tab. So here we can see the finished results for the same data set. You'll see some basic information about the file you ran and if there were any sites with positive or negative selection, how many of those sites there were and the p-value threshold with which those sites were detected. You can change this p-value threshold to suit your needs. Since we used an HIV data set that we know has been affected by drug resistance, we know selection is acting heavily upon it, which is why we see so many sites with both positive and negative selection here. So then, scrolling down to the Slack site table, the site table will show each site and all sorts of parameter information that has been estimated at that specific site by Slack, such as the inferred synonymous substitution rate, the inferred non-synonymous substitution rate, the tree branch length. You can also filter this table based on all of these parameters. So for example, if you want to just see sites one through 30, you can add a filter and you'll see that now we only have 30 sites. You can also remove this filter. And any filters you use will be saved when you export this table as a CSV. Each cell will also be colored by how it differs from the maximum likelihood estimate for that parameter. Blue means that the value is less than the median. Red means that the value is greater than the median while white means it's the same as the median. So we can actually use this chart to visualize selection on sites by looking at this DN minus DS parameter, which is the inferred non-synonymous substitution rate minus the inferred synonymous substitution rate divided by the total branch length. Sorting by descending, shows us the more negative this value, the more likely a site is to experience negative selection. And then when we sort by ascending, we see that the more positive this value is, the more likely a site is to experience evidence of positive selection. So scrolling down, you can see this displayed graphically here as we have the DN minus DS plotted against the sites. And with this graph, you can change the x-axis or the y-axis to suit your needs as well. Finally, scrolling down again, we see the Slack phylogenic alignment viewer so this shows a site across all branches of the tree, and you can color this based on the codon for that site or based on the amino acid for that site. And if there are substitutions at the site, it will display the number of substitutions the number of non-synonymous substitutions, and the number of synonymous substitutions. So looking at this site 626, we see the total of number of substitutions gives us a good indication of how variable this site is, 
while the total number of the non-synonymous and the synonymous substitution gives us an indication of what direction selection may be acting on. So we can scroll down and look and see how the tree branch colors correspond to the amino acid colors. And if we want to better visualize synonymous substitutions, we can choose to color it by codons and we can see how that changes as well. You can export this visualization as well. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can find us on Twitter at hi-fi underscore software, or you can find us on our GitHub page, which will be linked below, as well as the data set we used and the analysis we used today. Thanks for watching.